Hello guys and welcome to this Man Transfer Space Station thingy video. Basically what we're going to be doing is sending this transfer stage to the space station and rather than launching the Man Lander and the transfer station and everything with it, we're going to be launching the Man Lander, sending it to the space station, docking the transfer stage to the Man Lander, then taking it to the Man and see if it's a viable mode of transfer. In theory it is because Basically, you're launching the rockets app, all the equipment you need to transfer to the man. So that means less weight loading app when you're launching. All you need to do is launch the lander and the fuel for the transfer stage once the transfer stage is ready used, basically. So, yeah, in theory, you're sending up less equipment. So, hopefully this will work. Well, obviously it is going to work because, hey, I'm, I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> When I'm not crashing or destroying anything. Anyway, let's get this thing docked. You can see we've got a large docking port on one side. That's to dock it to the space station. And a small um, junior, not a junior docking port, but a normal docking port on the other side. And that is for us to dock the lander to it. Yeah, as soon as we dock this to the space station, we'll launch the lander. Rendezvous with the space station and then see what we can do. Oh yes, unless the orbit to space junk, because I've already left two probes up here and not enough fuel to deorbit them, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Okay, this is the lander itself. Now people have been asking about how do you make the rockets nice and silvery colour. That is a mod called I did call in the last few episodes or whatever, called it Ultimate Textures. It's not ultimate textures, it's unlimited textures. And what you do is you download the unlimited textures a mod and then you download the stock unlimited texture pack and then that gives you all that silver stuff however as you probably saw on a launch the some of the rocket parts the engine the large engine and also the fairings they don't seem to be silverized now the base part of the fairing is silverized and i did try to go into the config of the mod the stock config files and try to edit it to make the fairing silver but because the base part is silver and you build up the fairing from the base part I think you have to do some jiggery pokery to do that and get that correct so I'm not sure if that's gonna not is gonna work I know that squad are now adding silverish parts to the game so hopefully they will enable you to do that and you won't need this mod in the future so hopefully that update will come soon because I love all the silver parts, it makes it look epic. Oh yes, and um, the reason why I didn't dock the lander here to the space station is because I forgot to add RCS thrusters to this thing. Now we've got RCS tanks on here, but that was just for show, to make it look awesome. To make it that uh, uh, steampunk, I suppose, look. All the extra parts, which make no real difference. But unfortunately, I do have clipped parts in it, and that does bite me in the butt. At least on the return from the man. And also, you probably noticed that the fairing was wobbling about once we decoupled it. That was because that was clipping some parts, and unfortunately, I had to fast forward time to delete that fairing. Okay, a little bit of cheating, but hey, this is KSP, it's allowed, and it's stock part of the game. When you fast forward time, things disappear. Okay, now we're on the way to the man. Let's see if we have enough fuel, if this transfer stage will work. Now, obviously, I went and worked out the Delta V, so yes, it's going to work, in theory. And also, yes, I have to admit, I used the tweak scale mod, and that's how I got those lovely conical-shaped, uh, not the engines, but the conical-shaped tanks on the side of that, and also the ones on the transfer stage, with the smaller, shrunk down engines. That was the only way I could get the style on this rocket that I wanted. So hey, we got into Orbit of the Man. But this is the different thing. This is what is different with this mission. Now we have to return the transfer stage. So let's get this out of the way of the Man Lander. They can go do their thing, land and whatnot. We're going to return at this stage, then we'll come back to the lander and land on the man. As always, when you're returning from the man, you want to put the maneuver node in front, 
but to the left on the inside of the orbit, in front of the man. And that way you get the gravity assist, the gravity braking of the man that allows you to lower your orbit. Now if you burn on the opposite side of the man, that will give you gravity boost, pulling you in relation to curbing and shooting you out from curbing orbit. So always do that. Always, always in front of the man to return back to curbing. And then just move, move, not move, not maneuver an arrow to around, if I could say it properly, until you get the closest approach to curbing on your periaps return. That way, everything's awesome. Okay, so this was easily done. We had more than enough delta V. In fact, we probably have enough delta V to return this to the man. Probably not to take another lander to the man, but hey, as a transfer stage, that stays permanently in space and all we have to do is send a fuel up and some RCS fuel to refuel it. It works great. The RCS fuel, I do have to admit, you can see, was running quite low and we only just had enough. So I think perhaps some extra tanks for that would work. But now we come to the epic part. One of the things I really enjoy in this game is landing on the man. Midmus is great because of the low gravity and it's so easy, but the man is sort of like that little extra challenge of just trying to overcome that extra gravity so you find your rocket every now and again to slow your speed down, make sure it's under, say like, I'm gonna boost here and bring it under 250 meters per second, I brought it under 200 for just for no reason at all, and we're about 20 kilometers up, and then bring yourselves down and then you have to boost again because gravity has sped you up again. And oh yes, we have to shimmy to the left a bit because we've got to go into that crater. I do not want to end to land on a slope again and flip over. I think that's the one reason why my rockets explode now these days. Is other than some mess ups and miscalculations, is landing on a slope. There's too many slopes in KSP. Especially on more the outer planets and moons. Especially Lathe. I wish there were a lot of flat planes on Lathe. That way making a base would be much easier. Things will explode when you reload them up because you have too many mods and they clip in the ground. And hey presto, everything will be awesome and cool again. So yeah, we need some flat planes. I suppose we could make bases on the sea, but hey. I want a land base as well. Anyway, now we've landed, let's get Valentina out on EVA. And I forgot who else we've got on this mission. I should know because I played this. <laughs> we have Bob, the scientist. Makes sense, you need a scientist and a pilot, so yay. Hey. Okay, now Bob, let's get a selfie. Awesome stuff. Now let's do some science. Oh yes. First though, we have to plant the flag. I think what would be awesome, at least for me anyway, I don't know about you guys, is if we could plant a Welsh flag on the moon itself in real life. Perhaps we'll have to send a probe there or something and just have a little probe, sort of like, its only mission is to put a Welsh flag on the moon. I think that would be awesome. And obviously take pictures, yes. Anyway, after these two Kerbals enjoy themselves, we take a little look around, marvel at the beauty of all the man under us. And decide, should we make a base here? Should we camp? Should we have a picnic? Now nah, let's go back. Now, talking about the moon and the man, I did see some art by Lockheed Martin. Um, I think they're sort of like builders of spacecraft. And it was about a moon lander, and it looked sort of like twice the size of the Apollo landers. So I was wondering, are NASA going back to the moon? I think they are eventually, especially before they go to the to Mars. I know they're going to do the Astro Redirect mission. That's going to be a lot easier than landing on the moon again. Because you're just handling objects in space, which you're already in orbit, so you don't have to deorbit and reorbit to return. So that's going to be a lot easier. However, I do hope that they go to the moon again. And, you know, that would just be cool. And even though that some people believe we haven't landed there, conspiracy theorists. Um, oh damn, there go the comments. 
but basically it would be awesome we do have the technology to go to the moon we did have it then so yeah it was just a matter of getting there and this was disprove if we do it in this century this will just disprove a lot of people so except flat earth i don't know how you're going to disprove it to flat earthers especially since flat earthers are all around the globe these days so yeah go figure anyway now that we've uh, returned into the flat curbing let's deorbit these and well we've already deorbit them we just have to land them as you saw as well two of the spiky tanks were dislodged lodged from this and that's because of the clipping i'll have to alter that perhaps bring the spikes out a bit so it's not clipping into the heat shield and they're just poking out a bit i think that'll be a bit more uh steampunk sort of thing also it would be i'll be awesome if in this mod you could turn things a bit gold or perhaps a copper a dark copper weathered color that would you know so you can do the steampunk looks on these rockets i think there is a mod for that but that's for parts not changing the parts that we've already got Okay, it looks like we are going to survive re-entry and that's no surprise because uh, ah, it's so easy at the speeds it's only when you go to interplanetary speeds and come back and you miss align your orbit so that you arrive at curving at about five kilometers per second i've done that too often it's normally when i rely on other mods like alarm clock and that gives you the wrong time to return Anyway, let's do something a what, bit more epic for our turn. Normally, I just wait until splashdown. So let's, we've got E uh, Valentina out on EVA with a parachute. I think this is part of the Making History mod. So yeah, it does add cool things. And they will just rotate, orbit the command pod while it descends. Yes, this is cool. <laughs> I have to admit. It is awesome. Now, I wonder if that Kerbal Follower mod, if we get multiple Kerbals on EVA, get a couple to follow the other Kerbals, and then see if they all follow in their parachutes. That would be awesome. Synchronized parachuting. Anyway, from me, Valentina, and Bob, thank you for watching. Click that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.